um, hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's another day, um, and I'm on my way to meet up with my sister. And then, oh, it's my sister's day today. It's my sister's day today. I'm meeting up with both my sisters today, and I am seeing them separately, not together. Um, so right now I'm going to meet up with Naledi because uh, she flies out to Durban tomorrow um, for the old ship uh, cruise ship party time good time Portuguese islands I think la, la, la. Um, so I I need to see her and she asked if we could meet for uh, brunch which is typically it's 11 o'clock it's much earlier than I typically would eat, but it's fine. Um, I just won't eat much later on in the day. So she asked to see me today to kind of uh, enjoy, meet up, uh, have a conversation. We are also going to have a conversation as well. Um, so I'm, I'm on my way to meet up with her. Um, so I'm on my way to meet up with her. You will put on your brake, sir. Let's not do that. So I'm on my way to meet up with her now. I feel like there's so many interruptions in me trying to just tell my story because I'm focused on the road, but also at the same time, uh, people are driving madness. And then it just distracts me from what I'm saying. Um, anyway, so I'm meeting up with her and then I need to go pick up my sister, my younger sister, Kanya, and we are gonna have like a sister movie date. She asked me last week that uh, the new Trolls movie is out, Trolls Forever, or Trolls Undercover. I don't know what it is. But she essentially asked me to go with her. She asked me to take her to the movies. Yeah, that's pretty much it, eh? Outside of that, there's nothing really exciting to tell you nothing new um i'm I, I went down the tiktok rabbit hole this morning because i was watching videos of the hoodie girl if you don't know just go on to tiktok right now and go and and click in the search bar kelly joanna hoodie girl that's all you need to know if you do know here's the thing right here's the story Let's put it in a South African context. Let's put it in a black, because they are Asian, right? So let's put it in a black, white, colored, whatever race you are outside of Asian context, right? So here's the thing. So in context, right, uh, you and I, Naledi and I are friends. We're not sisters, we're friends. We're not best, best friends, but we're friends. And we have the same friend group. And Naledi says to me, no, I tell Naledi that, oh my gosh, you, you know Sposiso. Um, I actually kind of like him. Sposiso is in our friend group. So I tell Naledi, I like Sposiso. What, what? Naledi's like, that's it. Okay, girl, I got you. Don't even worry about it. I'm going to tell him. So then Naledi tells Sposiso, she's like, Spuda, Cat got a thing for you, bro. <laughs> and then thank you, Cupid Naledi, because Spuda and I end up together. But now here's the thing. Now, Lady and I currently live together. We're roommates, right? So when uh, Sabuda would come through to see me and all of that, now Lady is around and all of that. So we kind of just, you know, got close, yada, yada, yada. But now, now Lady, one day Sabuda comes over and Sabuda puts up the, mounts up the TV on the wall in Naledi's bedroom, right? Um, she, he, she asks and he does it, okay? How oh, jiggy jiggy, we're together at another point and Naledi is cold and she asks Sabuda for his sweater, you know, so that she can wear the sweater. Man, I don't have a problem with that at this time. It's fine. You know, it's cold. But then here's the thing. She takes the sweater, the hoodie, right? She takes the hoodie and keeps it with her for two weeks. In that two weeks as she's keeping it with her, okay, 
she's taking pictures with it all over town she's putting uh she's doing like little thirst traps attention traps um she's doing thirst traps attention traps on instagram in close friends of which Spuda and I are part of their close friends. That's the madness of it all. This this part is the one that drove me nuts. So Spuda and I are part of this close friends. So now she's doing thirst traps, attention traps, all of that with Spuda's hoodie. Okay. So I eventually decide this is not gonna work. I can see what this is about. This is BS. Hi hi Diddy. Hang on a second. So, I eventually decided, no, actually, this was BS. I am going to do this. I am not going to do this. So, um, I I cut off my friendship with Naledi. I'm just like, you know what? Now nah, I'm done, bro. Like, nah, because I can see what Naledi is doing. Then, so I'm doing this little story time and telling the story on TikTok, right? Then Naledi comes on to TikTok. I don't even mention Naledi's name as I'm telling the story time, okay? Then Naledi comes on to TikTok and Naledi pretty much outs herself that, oh, well, Gatle was actually talking about me, guys, yada, 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 pashosh, pashosh, potato, patata, right? So fine, ho. Oh. Then the lady gets surprised. She's like, no, actually, the sweater, actually, the, she's got an explanation for everything. Like, I didn't think it was a big deal. I normally take people's sweaters. I'm known for that. Um, blah, 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 you know. And even the thirst trap one, there's a sandwich story involved in there. Guys, just go on to TikTok. Because <laughs> I'm here, I need to go see my sister. Just go on to TikTok, laugh with me comment below let's talk about it okay all righty so lunch with sister one is done and now i am going to pick up sister two so going to pick up sister two and uh sister two and i are gonna let me tell you, okay, I'm never really disappointed by the food at Tasha, especially the one in Bedford View. But today I was. I didn't even finish my food. I barely, I literally had one, two bites and I was like, okay. If it wasn't the glass smelling some kind of funny. You know when you go to a restaurant and then glass in Mulo Munyana. So it's not really mlum, but it's normally the dishwashers like something needs to be happening with the dishwasher um as it was the glasses then it was the cutlery then the this came cold this so really it wasn't my day go tasha's and i love the bit for view tasha it's my favorite one um and that's the one i go to the most right but uh today and and it's always on point always from drinks to um but today today wasn't grand you know today wasn't grand and that's okay that's okay um so now uh so i barely ate so it's as good as my lady and i didn't actually eat it's it's literally as good as saying that we didn't eat liana she didn't she had like two three bites and then we asked for it to be taken away so
So I'm laughing to myself right now thinking, man, this is probably the shortest video or weekly vlog that I've ever done because it's literally 15 minutes long. And I don't talk much in this video because, and I think that's really highly reflective of the fact that I am really exhausted. But it's not just the year-end fatigue on my end. It's actually also dealing with year-end anxiety. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in my next vlog, which will come in the following week. But uh, as an introvert, I don't like this time of the year. This time of the year makes me feel really, really overwhelmed and stressed out. And I'm thinking and having reflective thoughts on the kind of year that I've had. And I'm very self-critical on myself about how I could have done things differently. It didn't turn out to be the, the year that I thought I would have. And I often forget to just celebrate the little things that I got to do, like right the, the small things that I got to do that stood out for me. But also at this time of the year, given the fact that I'm an introvert, it's really, really hard because it's prize, it's festive, it's Christmas, it's Boxing Day. It's a lot of time that people are spending with other people. And for me, it's really, really difficult because I don't like that. For me, it just makes me so uncomfortable. I'm constantly worried about what am I going to do? What am I going to wear? How am I going to be engaging with other people? And uh, over the last couple of weeks, I've had to deal with very dismissive behavior uh, that was directed towards me from uh, the people that are in my life, like privately, right, outside of social media. And I, I get this a lot because I, I believe that I, and to a certain degree, I still am a little bit of a people pleaser, right? So a lot of the time when someone kind of walks all over me or says something really hurtful or does something really dismissive, I tend to go into a hole and I shut down. And um, instead of actually voicing my opinion and say, I didn't like that. I didn't like that you spoke to me like that. I don't, I didn't like that you did this. Um, I, I tend to shut down because it's what I know how to do best. And often a lot of the time, this response of mine is not received uh, in a positive way, or it's not received in a way that, okay, you know, she's just taking some time to herself. It's often received as, oh, no, now she's being snacks. You know what I'm saying? So right now I've been dealing with a lot of the year-end anxiety, but also dealing with a lot of mental struggles that are triggering me in so many ways that are raising up, you know, my childhood traumas and that are bringing up things that I've worked so hard in therapy to work on. And it's not perfect. I can say I'm better, but it's still not perfect. So I wanted to just have this remaining part of this vlog to be your reminder to just say, you know what, not everybody is having a great time this festive or is going to have a great time. For many people, festive December period, December time is not the easiest time. They may have lost someone. They're introverted, so they're very, feeling very anxious and overwhelmed about what this the end of the year is going to look like and all of that. And you may be here so excited, looking forward to meeting friends, going on holiday, doing family functions, friend functions, all of that. But there are certain people like myself who just don't get on with this time of the year. I don't ever actually remember enjoying the festive period. We've had great memories in the festive period where we meet with friends, family, blah, blah, blah. But I don't remember it ever being something that I loved so much, a time in my life where I loved so much. My favorite time in the world was during COVID. I ain't even finna lie. Like, I liked it so much because I was home all the time. You know, the social distancing, I don't like, I don't like people all on top of me and this and this and uh, the quieter, you know, times where you go to the mall and whatever, there's not that many people there. But anyway, so just remember that uh, when you are watching this video that there are people who are really going through a tough time right now. I am one of them. I'm struggling with my mental health a lot and it just seems like it's getting worse by the day. Um, that's why in this video I just couldn't speak much in it because I'm so in my thoughts and I'm working on that. I will speak a little bit more about this in the next vlog 
But um, just exercise a little bit of kindness, guys. You know, just uh, even to yourself. You may not have achieved everything you wanted to achieve, but next year we try again. But in the time being, just exercise a lot of kindness to yourself and to others. I'll see you in the next one.